A few months ago, millions of people in Senegal wouldn't have contemplated that Abdullahi Wad would be defeated. The man who wanted a third term in a disputed circumstances, the constitution he was accused of twisting to his own benefit, has been completely defeated. Within three hours of the polls closing, Wad telephoned Macky Sall, once his protege in years gone by, and conceded defeat. An overall victory to Macky Sall, a man who had promised the people of Senegal a better deal, the ordinary people of Senegal, those living in poverty, so many of them, uh, cut prices for staple foods, a number of benefits he promised also. But more than anything else, uh, a policy of more inclusion for ordinary people. Whereas Abdelay Wad was seen as losing touch with the ordinary person, with grandiose projects, lots of promises, but 12 years of service to the country, and he has stood down in a graceful fashion, it would seem, right now. Ali Fari India is a political analyst, and he says the new president must now work on solving the country's many problems. The question now is how Maki Sall will turn all this great victory into mean of power, how can he use his political capital to tackle the very important issues that are important for Senegalese, which is uh, the huge inequality between the have and the have not, the inflation because life is so expensive in Senegal people, that people are worried about why President Ward was keep building uh, statues, spending on infrastructure, why people don't have nothing to eat. So I think the great importance, the biggest challenge now is how President Maki can use this to effectively implement agendas that will be good for the Senegalese people.